Hello everyone and welcome to my new lesson video. Today, I'm going to discuss the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Before you proceed with this topic, make sure that you already know how to do the basic differentiations such as getting the derivatives of a constant, linear function, polynomials, the power rule, derivative of a product, and as well as the derivative of a quotient because these are prerequisites for this topic. In case you would like to see my lesson videos discussing the things that I have just mentioned, the links are all in the description of this video. So, let's begin. So, these are the two functions that we're going to derive in this lesson video. The first one is the exponential functions and the second is the logarithmic functions. Under exponential functions, we're going to derive the exponential function with the format f of x equals e raised to u, where u is also a function, and the other one is in the form f of x equals a raised to u, where a is a constant or any real number, and u is also a function. Under logarithmic functions, we have the first form f of x equals ln u, where u is a function and ln is the natural logarithm. And the other one is in the form f of x equals log u base a, where u is also a function and base a is any real number or constant. So the first function that we're going to derive is the exponential function in the form f of x equals e raised to u. So we have the function f of x equals e raised to u. The formula or the derivative of this function will be f prime of x equals e raised to u times u prime. That means we have to identify what is our u and then we also have to get the derivative of our u and then we apply the formula of the derivative of the f of x equals e raised to u. So for example, let's say we have f of x is equal to e raised to 2x. In this function, our u is the 2x. That is the exponent of our e. So first we get the derivative of u or the u prime which is equal to 2. So we have now the u and u prime, so we can now use these two values and substitute it to our formula of the derivative of f of x equals e raised to u. So the f prime of x will be, you simply copy e raised to 2x and then multiply it by u prime, that is 2. Usually, we put this u prime in front as an exponent or sorry rather coefficient for e raised to 2x so this becomes now f prime of x equals 2 e raised to 2x next example will be f of x equals e raised to x squared so that means our u or the exponent of our e is x squared so getting the derivative of our u our u prime now will be 2x. So we have now our u and u prime. So we simply use the formula for the derivative of f of x equals e raised to u. So we will now have f prime of x equals e raised to x squared times the u prime 2x. So again, we simply put 2x before the e raised to x squared. So this becomes now f prime of x equals 2x times e raised to x squared. And for our last uh, example for this type of function, we have f of x equals e raised to 3x squared. So the exponent of our e here is 3x squared. That is our u. So again, first things first, we get the derivative of u and our u prime will be 6x. So applying the formula for the derivative of f of x equals e raised to u, 
this becomes now f prime of x equals e raised to 3x squared times 6x. So again, rewriting this, we will have f prime of x equals 6x times e raised to 3x squared. So the next exponential function that we're going to derive is in the form f of x equals a raised to u, where our base a is any real number or a constant, while the exponent u is any function. So the derivative for this function will be f prime of x is equal to a raised to u times ln a times u prime. Or you can rewrite this as u prime times a raised to u times ln a. So let's have an example. f of x is equal to 4 raised to x squared where our base 4 is our a, and the exponent x squared is our u. So, let us first identify our u, that is x squared, and its derivative, the u prime, is simply 2x. So, by applying the formula for the f prime of x of this function, our derivative now, or f prime of x, is equal to, so you simply copy the a raised to u, that is 4, raised to x squared times ln a, so ln 4, times the u prime 2x. So we can rewrite this by putting 2x beside 4 raised to x squared. So this will become now f prime of x is equal to 2x times 4x raised to x squared times ln 4. Another example for this exponential function, we have f of x is equal to 3 raised to x plus 1. So our a here is 3 and our u, the exponent, is x plus 1. So our u is x plus 1. Our u prime then will be simply 1. So by applying the formula, our f prime of x will become now 3 raised to x plus 1 times ln 3 times the u prime 1. Or simply, our f prime of x will be equal to 3 raised to x plus 1 times ln 3. So let us now proceed with the derivative of logarithmic functions. So the first one is the derivative of natural logarithm or ln. So our function is in the form f of x equals ln u, where u is also a function. And the derivative of this function will be f prime of x is equal to u prime over u. So the most important thing here is to identify what is our u and then we get the derivative of u and apply the formula. So for example, let's say we have f of x is equal to ln quantity x squared plus 1. So as we can see here in our example, our u is the quantity or the binomial x squared plus 1. So getting its derivative, our u prime then will be equal to 2x. And then, we can now apply the derivative or the formula of the derivative f prime of x equals u prime over u. So that will be the u prime 2x all over u that is x squared plus 1. Or the f prime of x is equal to 2x all over x squared plus 1. So for another example, let's say we have f of x is equal to ln 3x squared, where our u here is 3x squared. So, the u prime will be 6x. So, applying the formula for the derivative of this function, f prime of x is equal to the u prime 6x all over u, which is 
x squared. So simplifying this, 6 can be divided by 3, and then one, uh, the x in the numerator will be cancelled out, and 1x will remain in the denominator. So this will become f prime of x is equal to 2 over x. And for the last function that we're going to derive is the function or logarithmic function in the form log u base a. So our f of x is equal to log u base a where u is a function and our base a is any real number or constant. So the derivative of this function will be f prime of x is equal to u prime all over u times l and a. So again, it is very important that we identify what is our u and what is our a. So for example, let's say we have f of x is equal to log x squared base 2. So as you can see here, we can say that our u is the x squared and our a, which is the base, is equal to 2. So first, we get the derivative of our u or the u prime. This is simply equal to 2x. So we can now apply the formula for the derivative of this logarithmic function. So our f prime of x now will be 2x all over x squared times ln 2. So as you can see here, we can simplify this by canceling out the x in the numerator and 1x in the denominator. So we have now our final answer, f prime of x is equal to 2 all over x times ln 2. And for, for our last example, we have f of x is equal to log 4x cubed base 3. So our u here is 4x cubed and our a, the base, is 3. So let us first get the u prime, that is u prime equals 12x squared. So we can now apply, apply the formula u prime all over u l and a. So our f prime of x will be equal to 12x squared all over 4x cubed times ln 3. As we can see here, 12 can be divided by 4, and then the x squared will be cancelled out, and 1x will remain in the denominator. So our final answer will become f prime of x is equal to 3 all over x times ln 3. Thank you very much for watching this lesson video, the part 3 of my discussion about derivatives of functions, specifically the derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. If you haven't seen yet the part 1 and part 2 of my lesson videos discussing the derivatives of functions, the links can be seen in the description of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, then like and share this video to your friends and classmates. See you again next time. God bless.